I was asked to uh, talk to you about uh, the David operation. Uh, I, I, I didn't name it. A older professor from the United States uh, called uh, John Kirkland. Soon after I presented the uh, initial operation, he uh, invited me to visit him and explain what this operation is all about. Soon after, he printed a book, a new book on cardiac surgery. This was 1993, and he named it David Operation because it was uh, quite unique at the time. There was nothing comparable in the uh, magical literature. Like in most things in life, nobody dream of something new, fantasy is possible, but reality is different. Reality in life, as well as in medicine, is always a stepwise logical progression of ideas, concept, and culture. So back in the 80s, I had been in practice for a few years and uh, was troubling to me that young people, like many of you here, need a heart operation. And we are replacing the uh, aortic valve, which was normal, but the reason to be in the operate room was because the tissue around the valve was expanding, either for unknown reasons, which is more common, or a well-known genetic syndrome, like Marfan syndrome. Only Marfan syndrome was the one that I knew fairly well. So it was, you know, the desire to do better for the patient that uh, inspired to start to think what can be done? Can I remove all the tissues that are abnormal and preserve what's normal? And that, in essence, what was done. But it didn't happen overnight. It was like over five, six years. In other words, stepwise progression of concepts. The anatomies are the same, the pathologies are the same, but our understanding of the problem changes, improves with time. And that's how it ended up being. It. And, uh, and it continues to change even now. It's not a perfect operation. But uh, in the younger patient, 20, 30, 40 year old, he has restored their lifespan to normal. And that's what medicine is all about. Try to, uh, if you have a disease that's gonna short your lifespan, do something to uh, bring your lifespan to like to an, up anybody else. And I think we have about 35 years, followed this patient for 35 years. And their lifespan is pretty much uh, identical to other Canadians who uh, never had this problem. And that's ultimately the goal of medicine, is to uh, cannot abolish, but to treat a, a disease that allows you to live normally like anybody else.